All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is the scale bar. And actually, now that I've already calculated the size of some things in here, um, which is in the other video, it, it's probably easier to, to come up with what should the size of the scale bar be. And so if you think of this, you know, similar to a map, right, your scale bar would be something that you could use to measure the sizes of things in your image. Um, and so I actually just figured out, so I started with this cell width and then figured out what's the real size. But for example, like 21 micrometers would be a weird size for a scale bar because it's not easy to hold it up to things in the image, you know, kind of mentally and see how, how big they are. Um, but something like 25 might work or um, 50 micrometers. And so, you know, given that I had calculated here that the, um, the diameter was 400, you could also think like maybe 50 would be a good size for a scale bar because you could tell what's the length of a cell and you could, you know, go smaller than that. So let's just say you're actually just gonna decide on, decide on what is a reasonable size for a scale bar. Um, so let's say that I'm gonna do 50. And so let me kind of show you, it's similar to um, you know, you'll start with, but now you'll start with the image, or you'll start with the real size, right? So I'm gonna, this is from before, um, right? So if I can say, look, I think it would make sense to make a scale bar that is 50 micrometers, and I, I need to know how big to draw that. Um, and so again, I can use this, I have some image about, I have some information about the real size and the image size. So again, I like this way of just saying, um, I need to cancel out micrometers, so divide by 400, and then I have this information about inches in my drawing. So I can, which I think I need to make this smaller to calculate, but, so I have 50 times 4.47 divided by 400. So this is 0 0.558. Um, And then this is inches. So what I need to do is make a line that's 0.558 inches, and then that would be that is the size of 50 micrometers to use as my scale bar. Um, you can also use this, right? So now I'm not I'm not doing the muscle cell. I'm trying to figure out a scale bar. And here I didn't start with inches. I started with 50 micrometers would make sense for a scale bar in that image. Um, and then it's just the same math, right? 50 times 4.47 divided by 400. It's the exact same math. It's just whatever way and way makes sense in your mind. Um, and then later on when we're like calculating mag magnification, a lot of times you get an image with a scale bar and then from that you can figure out the sizes of things in a drawing. So there's, there's like similar skills that we're gonna be doing. Um, so yeah, let me put this on here. So I need one that's 0.558. And so here's where you can just make a line try to draw it so 0.5 actually it's pretty close um i don't know if i can do oh yeah five six okay so that's my image that's my line and then you can say do you want it bigger so then my scale bar and then you would just label it to say that length is 50 micrometers um, and it's fine the micro sign is really it's a little m but i often just write the u because it's easier um so yeah, that should look, look right. Um, and so then the idea is you would kind of know if you looked at this, you'd say, oh yeah, the, the width is about 20 or, um, so hopefully that helps to figure out how to, how to do stuff in here. Um, and yeah, just let me know if you have any questions.